that I've used to calculate this this uh, this triangle over here for the declination is a very is a basic trigonometry formula. I know from the from the uh, record books that other people have used that the magnetic declination of the Earth where I am at this spot is 3.94 degrees west and it's drifting a little bit more each year but today it's 3.94 degrees west so if we take that angle off of the magnetic line the first straight line 3.94 degrees so that the head goes east to compensate for it so what i so how do i figure out this line well i, t I take a scientific calculator and it's the tangent of the angle times the length of the base will create the altitude, the distance between this spot and this line over here. It'll create that distance. So, and this distance is, as I recall, was 8.26 inches at 10 feet, and it's um, 0.826 inches at one foot. And uh, I have various marks I calculated all along the way to make sure that the slope was accurate. So now I have a slope that's pointed north onto this field. Now this is important for me because I believe how the ancients did it was they marked out a spot on, onto the earth, then they used simple geometry based upon that spot, and then they could make things very accurate onto a structure. Um, and they would use, and how would they determine that spot? They would line it up to a star. So then that's what you go to the, the ancient structures and say, wow, how did they know all this? Because it was a very elementary place to start. Now finding a spot on the earth is not that easy as you would think. Before GPS, there was no accurate way to do it. Um, the most accurate way you could do it by, uh, for astronomers was plus or minus 500 feet. In the beginning of World War II, the maps were so inaccurate, they could not accurately find the location of Sicily for aerial bombings and things. Um, they began that in radio triangulation in around World War II by starting at a spot on the Earth at Penobscot Bay with radio signals, and that even causes drift. So it's very difficult to determine a spot on the Earth relative to another spot on the Earth and it, them to line up. It's pretty easy if you can start arbitrarily. The tricky part that I have is that I want to start here and make some very accurate shapes around this entire field and then I have to get that entire shape to match past surveys. Surveys from the farm, surveys from the county, surveys from the state, from the past, and it seems that the road behind me is, is perpendicular to true north. Yet many of the roads that lead off of this seem to have drifted off a magnetic north. So different kinds of surveys over the years seem to have kind of made things shift around. So I'm going to be starting from this spot here, making my row patterns in complex shapes and building sculptures year after year and hoping that my shapes actually match some of the weird problems that surveyors have had in the past in the state of Wisconsin. So, uh, cross my fingers, hope for luck. Um, that's how I figured out the declination. Um, it's the angle of declination times the tangent times the length of your straight line will equal the altitude of the distance that we need. And um, that would be important if, I, if you ever want to make a structure um, that would line up to um, events of the calendar such as the solstices and the equinoxes, which can be pretty cool, especially if you want to play with shadows in your art. So anyway, um, and my goal, of course, is to make art, but also to see if, in doing so, I can bring better crop spacings and better solar radiations onto the crops, because I do believe that the future of robotics is not going to be on the industrial scale. It's going to be on better management on the small scale. So anyway, with that, let's go forward.